Jane's grandmother was stronger than people twice her size. Ooh wee! This man, the Plumville RDA by Tobacco. Yes, it's a clone, but I must say, man, this is my best RDA to date by far. Um, what's up, guys? Thank you for coming to my channel. Uh, this Plumville, man, I don't have too many other RDAs. I have a couple of them, but I've tried other ones. And uh, nothing compares to this thing on flavor. It chucks it too. Um, I know now there's a version 1.5. Uh, this one is the first one. It's a clone. It's by Tobacco. Uh, but, you know, it was like $22 on, uh, I think I got it off of Elevate, ElevateVapes.com. Uh, there's a lot of websites out there that have it. Um, a lot of different clones that are made by Infinite and like five, six other clones. But this one uh, is, I've, I've tried a couple other ones. I've seen other reviews. This one's the best. Um, it does, I got a, a 1.0 ohm single coil build in it. And uh, I like single coil. <clears throat> um, I've tried dual. I have a, uh, I have a dual on my Nemesis copper clone um, I'm not gonna pay <clears throat> excuse me I'm not gonna pay $200 for vaping stuff guys um, but doesn't matter we're not talking about that we're talking about the Plume Veil clone you guys are looking to get it I would suggest to get it um, from a 1.1 to 10 this I would give it a 9 um, it chucks the vapor. The flavor is just uh, spot on. Um, what else can I tell you about it? Uh, I have it on a can of mod 30 watt. Um, it's great. I got a uh, AFC, the new improved uh, drip tip. Drip tip's pretty damn good, man. It's got airflow on it. So, the plume veil. The, what the Plume Veil offers you compared to other RDAs is the airflow controllability in this. You have airflow in the front, you have airflow in the back, you have airflow on the top, two holes. There's a Delrin insulator. Oh, whoops. Come on. There is a Delrin insulator on it on the top cap see the Delrin insulator inside you can adjust that for the airflow on the top the two holes see those two holes there you would adjust this mine's kind of like really in there I don't really use that airflow for dual coil and quad coils and things like that you want to use more of the airflow but I like mine just single hole in front of the coil, but uh, the Delrin insulator, it spins, okay? You can take it out as well, but this spins and it adjusts is up and down, which opens those two little holes that you see in front. Those two little holes there, see those two? Moving that Delrin insulator back and forth by spinning it clockwise or counterclockwise, uh, clockwise to loosen, counterclockwise to tighten. It would open those two holes to give you more airflow. Now, if you see on the uh, top cap, there is three slits. See the three slits? One, two, and three. That's for your dual coil. See how they're like together? See that right there? I'm getting good at this. See those two? That's for dual coil. You put that down on the two coils and you get dual airflow on that. If you want the single, see that? There's nothing on that side. You just put that in front of your first one and it blocks the others off. Um, <clears throat> airflow, airflow, airflow. Uh, it's crazy. Um, also, you see those three holes there? And you see the three holes there? That's for the airflow coming under the coil. 
on the bottom of the deck coming up. Man, I must tell you, this is a very innovative uh, airflow. Plumeville is just, it outdoes everything on flavor and it chucks. I mean, I got uh, some good flavor here. Let's give it a. I mean, you know, it's warm in here. If it was cold and I wanted to elaborate the vape for you guys, I would. But I don't want to, you know, do that just to... If it's colder out, it's higher VG, you get more vape. Regardless of what RDA, regardless of what you use, uh, that's how you would get more vape. I mean, but this thing chucks it. It chucks it. Let me tell you. Now, uh, let me take the top off for you. Come on. Ah. Wow, that thing is on there. Is that why it's... Huh. So, I have a single coil just wrapped in, in cotton. But, right there on the side. See that hole right there? I know you guys see it. See that hole? And you see that hole? That is the airflow coming from... Jesus. That is the airflow coming from the sides under the milled negative posts into the channel airflow. So you don't want to block those off when you put your wick in. In between the negative two positive uh, connections, you don't want to put wick in between those. That is where the airflow is coming into. So it's just great, man. It's great, guys. Um, also, about the Delrin insulator. If you turn that down, it opens the airflow on top, but also it reduces the chamber size, which gives it more, you know, flavor. And the downward helps the heat when you inhale it. Uh, this thing is just remarkable, dude. Remarkable. Um, let me try to get this sucker back on now. I have to get it. Perfectly. Perfect. Perfect. Cool. So, um, this thing's just great, guys. I'm going to put some more juice. Uh, I got a new juice here. I'm not gonna, this is a review about the Plume Veil, not about juice. Um, but this uh, Plume Veil, guys, it is just like crazy. Crazy good. Um, there's a lot of different clones, like I said before, out there. There's a lot of different clones. Uh, Infinite makes some. Tobacco, I like it. Some, now the version 1.5 that's coming out now, it does have, now the, the deck is different. The screws are different. I have a little issue with the screws. So pros and cons. Uh, pros. Very innovative. Great flavor. Chucks it. Um, I haven't got any other flavor out of any other RDA. Uh, this thing is the best RDA by far. I think and a lot of other people think. There's a lot of cons to it. There's very small... I mean, there's a lot of pros to it. There's very small cons. The only con that I would say about this is the screws. And the screws, sometimes my coil builds become a little unloose. And you'll notice that by, it'll say like 1.2 ohms. And I have it on 1.1. I'm like, what the, what the fudge is that? Sometimes they loosen up. So all you gotta do is tighten it down. I mean, I'm talking like after days, days, maybe a week of vaping that, um, that needs to be tightened. Um, it's gold plated. You know, it's a clone. So the gold plating could, I guess, necessarily tear off and you, you might want to you know wipe it and make sure that you're not like getting that in your juice when you're inhaling it i haven't had that issue with mine i've had mine for about wow how long has it been i've only been vaping for uh you know i've had vaping stuff but i've had it for maybe it's been about three weeks since i haven't had a cigarette thanks right congratulations derek yes thank you ambitions yes I've had it for about a month. No, three weeks. 
I haven't smoked in three weeks because I got this. That's the day I got it. It would be three weeks tomorrow. Today is Sunday, the 16th. Tomorrow's the 17th. That will be three weeks. I've been vaping on it every day for three weeks, almost. Day short of three weeks. Um, it's great. I got it at 22 watts. I usually do a 1.0 ohm at 20 watts. That's like the sweet spot for this, I find. It's all subjective. Some people like dual. I got a twist of 28, uh, twist of 28 gauge on my Nemesis and Mephisto. Twisted dual 28.4 ohm build on this fucker, man. I mean, that's just crazy. I do that for, you know, once in a while. Keeping that on the side, kid. On the side. But, let's take a vape. Oh, oh my god. Man, Cosmic Charlie Slamberry. Oh, that shit is... All the flavors that you try, you want to try it in the Plume Veil. It just is great flavor. That Delrin Insulator Adjust, like I said, for the amount of heat or the small in the chamber to give it more flavor. Um, I like it just stock, just closed off. The tip closed off, the Delrin closed off, single opening, and I mean, you got the the airflow coming from under the coils. That's a, I mean, that is what does it. It's the airflow coming under the coil, behind the coils. That that that's what that's what makes it. I think now the logo on it, the like that crazy looking logo. People say, uh, oh, it's too much. It's too you know too much going on. I don't really give a shit, to be honest with you. Um, as long as this thing functions, I don't care if it was pink. I would vape it and buy it. Trust me. Um, but the version 1.5... <coughs> excuse me. The version 1.5 got rid of that and fixed the screws. And it's not gold-plated, so you don't have to worry about it like chipping off. I haven't had the issue with it chipping off, but maybe... I, I think some other people have, so... I don't really know, but I would love to do like show you a build on this, guys. But my camera, you know, <laughs> it doesn't. I can't put it down, so I can't really do a build for you guys. But there's plenty of videos out there for the build. This is a review on the Plumeville RDA. Um, I, I can show you. That is the build. It's got four. The negative posts are on the outside, and the positive posts are on the inside. So there's four posts, first, first three. Um, they're pretty big. Uh, I haven't really had any issues with, with building anything in there. I haven't done like a 22 or a 20 gauge. Um, I do 28 Canthal. Uh, you could do 26, you could do 24. I mean, there's no, let me, let me, there's no issue with that. Um, the deck holds about, I gotta show you guys, man. The deck's pretty, it's pretty deep I you know I get spillage it does spill a little bit if you overfill it like I do that's why I have a lot of cotton in there now but I'm trying to get a good view for you guys uh, it holds about 10 drops um, yeah, I mean it holds a good amount of juice dude I, you know the Mephesto it, it has a little more um, holds a little more juice I would say but uh, this thing is just see I didn't get it on right guys sorry that's why I don't like taking this thing off see what I mean now I have a tough time come on get off wow there we go okay trying to just get this on correctly there we go all right I'm not taking it off guys again <laughs> sorry just pain in the ass to that's, you have to line it up. You have to make sure that hole's lined up. Now, the good thing about the three holes, sorry, I know I'm jumping around, I'm trying to give you all the information. There's three holes there. So if your coil is to the side, you'd want to adjust and turn it to another hole so that the main airflow is at your coil, which is great. So there's three, one to the left, one to the right, one in the center. I put mine in the center, so I don't have to worry about doing that, but if I had 
dual, let's say dual, right? If I had dual parallel, then, and I had one left, one right, I would just adjust that to one of the other holes, and you still got the airflow, man. This is very innovative. This is the most innovative RDA in the market now. You know there's going to be more that's coming out. That's the nature of the beast. That's the nature of the vaping industry. But we're not smoking cigarettes. Right, guys? We're not smoking. We're vaping. We got four ingredients versus 7,000 ingredients. Yes, that's right. So who gives a, about that? It's good. It's great. I recommend it completely. I'm going to buy another plume veil. I'm going to buy another 1.5 plume veil to put on my nemesis. I don't think I'm buying any other RDAs except the plume veil. Straight up. I know there's other ones out there like the Zenith, the Vertex, the Mutation X. That one's not bad. I saw another guy and they had quad, quad 12 coils on it doing some crazy shit. That's got a lot of airflow options. Airflow options is key, guys. I'm still new. I've done a lot of research. Trust me, airflow is key. Thank you, Rip Trippers. Go to his page. He's got good coil builds and stuff. He knows his shite. But airflow is key. Uh, too much airflow, eerie like a single coil. You don't need dual. Uh, you don't need dual airflow open on this. It's if you want it airy, yeah, I'd say go ahead and do it. I like mine warm, dense, full body flavor. Like Rip Tripper said, I'm giving him credit. You go to the bar, you order a Bud Light. It's a light beer. You order a Guinness. It's a full body flavor. I like full body flavors. So. <laughs> That's what I do with my airflow. But to get different flavors is a build in airflow. That is the combination to getting what you want. But the plume veil, you can do all that on it. The plume veil is highly recommended. Okay, guys? Thank you for watching. Subscribe, hit a like, and I'll see you on the next video, guys.